day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to Dead Cells, where we have a plan today. Will you see that place I couldn't get into last time? I think I want to get into it. But the question is, how do I get into it? And I have a theory. For you see, they added this, the cultist outfit, for a reason. And it was only one cell. So the logic says I might be able to enter it from, you know, if I'm using this. So, we're going to see, do our best to get back to that place. I have a shield and I have a sword. That is likely all one needs. I must be quick. I must be thorough. I must be ready to grab anything and everything I can with the, the amount of things that I have available to me. Let's get to the dilapidated auditorium. We've done it in the two minutes. We might have killed 30 enemies. I highly doubt we killed 30 enemies, but we did it in two minutes. So we get 20 cells, which is nice. So what are my options here? An ice bow. Hmm. Interesting. Golden amulet. Probably not worth much. Magnet grenade. Hmm. You know what? I liked the ice bow when I used it last time. So I think I'll go for the ice bow again. Nope, didn't kill 30 enemies. Didn't think so. What was I working on leveling up? Oh yes, this thing. Because I wanted to try that out. Hakiro's bow. To hell with it then. Let's go for the bow route again. I like my bow route, after all. Ammo mutation doesn't apply to this item. Oh, how interesting, though. It only has five bullets. Five ammo. And it's got plus three ammo, so it normally has two ammo. Huh. Do I want that? I'm not convinced I do. But technically it's better than my sword, so I'll go with it for now just to see what it's like. You know, what happens if I re-roll it? Or give it the plus, I should say. Right! Let's go to this dilapidated auditorium again and see what we can do with these bows. Because they've only got- they, because they've got so little ammo, I have my high doubts I can just spam them like I did. So, so far it seems like this... ...special bow... ...doesn't actually do anything. Unless... Mushroom Boy. What the bloody Christ is that? Well, I'm very glad I took Frostbite. Because it looks like this Hakiro bow only does the... It's dot damage. If it's taking damage alongside it. Well... I should definitely get my... Purple thing. So... Let's take the magnet grenade, because I'm a suicidal moron. And here I can go to the prison depths again. Did this one have a timer? Because I'm here, and I'm moving fairly quickly. No, only killed enemies. Well, now I regret things. Mushroom Boy spawns a friendly Mushroom Boy, which charges and interrupts enemies, inflicting 50 damage and 100 extra damage if the enemy hits the wall. Trigger it again to inflict 300 damage and violate your soul. Well, okay then. I kind of want to re-roll the modifiers to the magnet grenade, because I don't want to take the double damage. I just don't. Few prisons prisoners manage to see out their time here alive. Screw it, I'm going Archer. I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greed Shield. 4 plus plus. Attacking just after a parry inflicts 300% bonus damage. I'm gonna keep that in the backpack. Oh, that's interesting for the Magna Grenade. Curse lifted, I'm free. 
I need a different weapon before I hit a boss. Well, hello there. What's that? A crusher? That's a quite interesting sounding weapon. So, what I have learned is this Haki Robo is probably really good if I can get a dot build going. You know? That's a five version. But it doesn't have the plus three ammo. So. Also, the, the mark lasts a while, I think is the main thing. The issue is that versus like, huge big enemies, the bigger the enemy, the less effective the build is. I need a goddamn different weapon. That much is for sure. Because the only reason this works right now is because I took the frostbite train. Right, what are my options? A blood sword plus the thing. A blood sword or that. An ice grenade or the the, the broadsword. I did fall in love with the broadsword last time. But if I use the Hokuro bow with the blood sword, I am logically going to get much better things. But also it's rank 3, so it's trash. Let's head to the Morias of the Banished again. Crusher slows down and violently crushes enemies caught in its zone. Sounds fun. To the Morias of the Banished, where we're going to have to fight one of those big giant flea things that pop out the water again very quickly, aren't we? Bring it. Okay. I was about to say, I want to do this without taking damage, you ass. Considering so much of what I do is AoE and spreads to nearby enemies, it makes some things very effective. Also, what the bloody Christ is this? What do we have here? Come out, come out. Huh. I mean, okay then. That's... interesting. I'm not sure if I want it. Sacrifice the mushroom boy. So is it literally just a pet that goes around killing stuff for me? You know, as fun as it seems, it's probably not as good as the magnet grenade, which does bonus damage versus no. Are you actually fucking kidding me right now with that bullcrap right then? First, it was frozen. Second, it didn't. It doesn't have that much health. Third up, it can't three shot me. This is the normal difficulty. Jesus Christ! That was stupid. But you know what? Fine. Fine game, if you want to act like this. That, again, stupid. The nutcracker stuns on hit. That's the rule. The fact it didn't get stunned then, what means I had no hope of winning. The broadsword I can deal with. This nutcracker, however, is a little bit... Too slow. What's in the chest? Something to replace this nutcracker? Thank you, that's just what I needed. Ooh, and a powerful grenade? Sure, thank you. I love my good old powerful grenade. And a magnet bomb? Well, that was proven very useful in the last run, which we just saw, so... What's my stat this time, then? Screw it! 
I want to try a brutality run. And maybe a bit of tactics. Brutality and tactics. Well, I don't win any time awards, but I got the 30 kills. Right, what do I have? Twin daggers. Four. What am I currently using? Hmm. I'm going to try for the big twin daggers. As I say, brutality run. I have my doubts a brutality run will actually work well, but I'm still allowed to try. And if I'm going for a brutality run, I might as well get that infantry bow and see what that's like. You know? So what do I have here? I like how the timer actually pauses in the... in certain places. Hmm, ice grenade, ice grenade. Level two ice grenade, so not that particularly good. Let's ignore that. What am I doing? I can trade it for money. And while money may have very little function, in the whole scheme of things. It still has its purpose here and there. What should I get this time? More brutality means more damage. Well, there's no point me trying to go for the bonus kill now. Shields don't do that much for me because I'm physical. But I'll keep it in the backpack all the same. Plus there's a scroll over here. Brutality or survival? I'll take the survival this time. You know, let's just go straight to the Morias of the Banished. There might actually be a timer here. Which there wasn't on the last one. Nope, just kills. I wasted the bonus area. Being able to go to the bonus area. Well, you might as well give me my infantry bow. Got a fair amount of damage on it. Or attacks on it. What other special things can I get? Right, does plus damage versus a burning target. That's useful if we can get things to burn when they die. Which it's not guaranteed to do. Let's see what happens if I upgrade you. Less ammo and you deal stuff. Nah. Not that good then. Whenever I've done a build, it's normally like tactics and survival. I lean towards without brutality. That's why I say, why don't I just try... Full brutality, and that's because it goddamn hurts. What's this? Magnet Grenade 5L. Uses the highest stat, so I can keep my Magnet Grenade while uh, focusing in brutality. I like it! Well. Ow! Those things should not allowed to be keep allowed to keep spinning after they've gone past the, the original target. I need that. I mean, that's cool, but I need that. What's in the chest? Wolf traps. No. A heavy turret. That sounds like fun. Alright. Even if I don't like the twin daggers... I definitely like this infantry bow. It hits hard. Okay. Let me get some more... Survival. A survival is the literal difference... Okay, so this game's out to get me today, but that's nothing new, it's this game. 
I mean, all I want to do is go back to a place I have been to before. All right, what's this? Secret zone, tunnel. This tunnel was cleared out very roughly. Doesn't look too solid. All right. Canvas bag. A, a dusty old bag that someone le here left here a long time ago. Thanks, that means nothing to me. This, this hole in the wall is extremely small. Maybe for a child? Okay. I should probably go for another point of brutality. You're giving me the option of an infantry bow or a broadsword. I would like both of those, honestly, because I've come to like both of them. However, this game is a bastard and won't let me have either. Because I'm not allowed fun. What do we have here? An infantry grenade. You know what? Fine. In addition, I've already failed the time trial, so... Why bother going for anything else? Or... Not going for everything, you know? If I've already failed the time trial, there's no reason why not to kill everything. I mean, it's not like there's another time trial after this. We tried that on many different ways. So what are my options? Fire grenade. Powerful grenade. Hmm. Both very tempting. Both extremely tempting. You, not so tempting. These two, very tempting. If I go for that, and go for a brutality build, I can go, go all the grenade, all the damage. I've got 30 odd cells, what can I use them for? Armadillo pack. If I can find myself a good shield, sure. You know, I kinda wanna try this iron staff. See what that's all about. Right. How should I upgrade you? You poison the enemy, do you, right now, Mr. Infantry Grenade? That's fun. You increase movement speed, but that's boring. Let's get this uh, reduced kill cooldown for me melee kills. Because I do a lot of melee kills because I am a melee combatant. Because we like to look our enemies in the eyes before we kill them and say, NOT TODAY! Screw you! Ooh, a broadsword. Well, if nothing else, you are a massive improvement over those goddamn useless daggers. For now, at least. I think in the long run, I'll want something even better at some point, but at the moment, I won't be judgy. Right. I am at 30 kills right now. Let's see if I can get even higher. What's this right here? Ooh, order. I'm alive again, but I can feel the madness lurking in the shadows. And I don't think these medical plants will help me for long. Alright. Royal Order. Yet another order to burn down the Arbitorium. I, I agree. I agree. Burn this place down to the ground. Fucking Christ! Well, I guess I'm not doing the... The 60 then. I mean, I wouldn't normally do this after failing, but the fact is that I kind of have to. I have to do this place if I want to go to the Morias. Again. You know, now that I say it out loud, why am I trying to go to the Morias so much? Alright, because it's the path I took. 
last time that... Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you! Yeah! Screw you to hell! Right. Right, now I have choices. Because I don't have to use this Frost Blast anymore. And I can just use the Ice Bow instead. Which, while technically does more damage, but is more limited, is also quicker. Now I can get a Magnet Grenade or the Infantry Bow, which I quite liked. But the fact they're only level 2 makes me think, hmm, they're kind of crap. There's the Moriasa of the Banished, and I have killed everything, and I am not getting any form of trophy for anything this time. If it wasn't for that damn elite. Yeah, yeah, don't rub it in my face. You know, I started working on this Iron Staff. Let's get it and see what it's like. Well, it does more damage than the Broadsword at the very least, so... Alright, well, let's upgrade you, because your current modifiers suck. Not much better, but uh, whatever. You! Actually, I'll keep as you are. I probably need to find something to replace the infantry grenade. You know, now that I'm using the iron stuff, maybe parrying is an option. Well, I mean, it seemed to work then. Can I only me parry melee attacks? Allows you to parry melee attacks, yes. Only melee attacks. Not just stink. Don't... Doesn't matter what they say. If what they say is make you... I read this before, I don't need to try and read it again. No. I mean, granted, I'm not doing so badly that I think I couldn't do it. I just don't want to take the risk, because I've died too many times already. Aha! So it definitely looks like the parry happens right before the swing, rather than during the swing. You know? It's also got fairly large reach to this staff. Huh. I've also pretty much... ...been forgetting entirely a cluster of grenade. Okay, where's that heavy turret you gave me last time? I'm guessing this is the end, considering that thing. And if that's the end, all that means to me is this loot I have missed. Such as this. What do we have here? Come out, come out. I'm willing to do that. I haven't got that much survival and the I've come to the conclusion that the infantry grenade isn't all that good. I like this mushroom boy. I think the Mushroom Boy just did a lot, awful lot of crap to, to everything. So, oh, if I do that, my highest stat... I mean, technically I should do it just because it gives me two stats. It just reduces my damage. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in there. But I have to fight this... I'm okay, so I lost my kill combo bonus. So far, 
really like the pen. Crudgel L. Okay. I can put that in the backpack and get the armadillo pack so that whenever I dodge, I also will... What am I call it? A new disciple. Welcome to our chapel. Are you ready to make a sacrifice? Vaguely religious, these symbols seem to invoke a holy, holy matriarchal figure. Well, whatever. Let's fight the boss. At long last. Only took an hour. Cluster grenade. Breaks into f six different bombs. Hmm. How much damage does my big bomb do? 900. You know what? I think I prefer my big bomb at the moment. So what I want to level up is things I want to possibly use in a different run. You know? You know what? I know. I should level up the mushroom boy. Because of the fact that he's proven to be awesome. Plus, I get a level 5 version that burns things. Then I'm gonna level up the scythe claw just because I want to see what it does. Right. I don't want to rank you up because poison is that much of a good thing. You could use a reroll for your effects because those are not impressive. That's better, I guess. The powerful grenade now does additional damage to frozen enemies. Okay, I've got my combo. Right. Since the parrying actually does seem to work somehow, let's get the armadillo pack at long last. Now that I can. And see what we can do about this nest. Come here! Mama Tick! Alright. Where's my minion, by the way? Nice dot nice parrying, my good shot. What did we get? Giant tick outfit. Not sure how impressed by that I am. What's this compared to my current shield? Uh, does more damage, but doesn't have any more near as many effects. And then your ice grenade's kind of meh. Well, that went well. Why am I? So Why is everything suddenly burning? You emit burn on the ground when you run. Huh. All right. Well, now I can go to the graveyard, or I could go back to these fractured shrines, which is why I'm dressed like this. Otherwise, I'd be in my lovely regal purple. Did I just parry the axe? What's in here? You're the sh food shop, aren't you? Yes, you are. I look forward to using you. Which I am more than likely... going to need to do. Especially if I play like that. I want to try and be fancy. Yeah! Jesus Christ, little mushroom boy. Man, this little mushroom thing is really impressive. I am- uh, I'm actually shocked by how good it's at- it actually is proving to be. Okay, I am very lucky to be alive! Jeez! Alright. Okay, what do we got? Wow, three legendary things. Wow, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm impressed by everything but what they are, I should say. 
because I don't like the Nutcracker, the Wolf Trap is mare at best, and I, the tonic, same attitude towards. So... Jesus Christ with this mushroom boy. The damage this mushroom boy does in these tight quarters, you know? Of just knocking everything about. It's kind of insane. A nice chest. Oh, what joy. Please, chest please. Sinew slicer. Crap. Absolute garbage. Okay. Today I have learnt the Mushroom Boy is legit one of the best things I have ever seen. Wow, I automatically went the direction that is the exit. Okay, open up! Wear the cultist outfit to access the Undying Shores. Ha ha! I was right! Whoever said I needed to be on higher difficulty shows what he or no! Ha 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 ha! Right. Let's get myself some tactics. I've just realized how you teleport. The snake thing can teleport to any place which it throws its spear. What do you offer in this shop? Ooh, an iron staff six. Hmm. Hmm, that's technically an investment, because it does less damage at the moment, but if I level it up, it'll do more. So, logically, it is the better option to get. I think. We're gonna have to see. And then you guys in the chat, in the, in the what call it, the comments can tell me whether or not it is. What the heck is that? Vampirism. Okay, all that's left for me here is the Guardian. I want to heal up before I try and take him on legitimately. Fight me! Aha! Legitimately, no damage! Where am I going? What the heck is this? Letter. I was hoping her people could help me, but they didn't rec but they don't recognize me anymore. The apostate's hideout isn't far, but I don't know what kind of welcome they reserve for strangers in the need of help these days. Where's my loot? Where's my loot? I wanted loot! Well, no matter what, we're now heading to these undying shores, because I'm going to see what they have to offer me! Vampirism transforms all your current health and 65% of your missing health into recovery. The hell does that mean? And it's a power, too, not a passive, like I thought it would be. Or a mutation, even. Alright, upgrade. Yeah, that's a damage increase. Plus, it gives 20% extra damage. Haha, -ha, that is definitely an upgrade. Thank you. Let's see what lies within these undying shores! This hideout was used by smugglers before it served as an escape for the King's Wrath. The smugglers were, dis were rather disgruntled by the development of events. Makes sense, really. The hell? Let an apothecite revi revive three souls. What the hell is that? Outfit. Almost yourself outfit. I should probably summon my little friend. My little friend. I, I always forget to re-summon him. Okay, so those are the things that revive everyone. And they have the ability to revive... A 
anything I kill. Right. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. It's rather bad to happen, but it's good to know that it can happen. Also, what's up with this music? A question I have to wonder is, can, can an apothate revive an apothate? Right, let's start upgrading my damage again. I can't help but feel I'm going to need it a little. I also have no idea how... This is a down map. Okay, so the map... So for this map, we're just going down and down and down into the depths of hell. Hello! That's a lot of nice cells. Thank you. And a merchant that sells nothing of use. Alright, now we're in a law place. What's this? The Apothecate's research on death and cellu cellular decay were far more advanced than what I've seen elsewhere. They seem to endure better than the rest of the island. We shared a knowledge, and they handed me some precious samples. There may be another way to endure the malaise. What is that? No. This feels uncomfortably familiar. In other words, that's what we are. A null. So we don't have a soul, is what I'm hearing. Teleport. Ha ha ha, I like this. Come on, snake man. Teleport. This mushroom is so much fun. One of the main things of my concern right now is do resurrected souls count as kills? Because I'm beginning to think they don't. I have in here? Random room of random things and a couple of things here and there. Looks like cells. I also note there's... Maybe there's information up here about something. Hello? Any lore? In any information? Skull. Seems oddly familiar. Ooh! Is that me? Is that my skull? Interesting! Hello, Mr. Merchant. You sell... A Mushroom Boy level 8. That does significantly more damage than my current one. So the poison is kind of irrelevant. What about the grenade? The grenade's the same, and it's not upgraded. Hmm. Well, I'm getting the Mushroom Boy at the very least. And then I suppose I should get the powerful grenade 8 as well, shouldn't I? Especially if it's as much as 8. Explorer Instinct. Okay. What's with the doors? What are the... Hey, okay then, I guess I got the wrong door. Lots of stat upgrades in this place, I've noticed. Like, an actual crap ton of them. Alright, let's see you resurrect him. <laughs> you resurrected your corpse, thanks to that. That is goddamn awesome. Alright, I accidentally blew up the mushroom boy. Again. And so there's one enemy left on the map. And it's an elite. I've got three potions. All I have to do is wait for my mushroom boy. 
That wasn't too bad. And what do I get for it? Minus damage? I lose health, but I gain damage because of it. How much health do I lose? 600-ish. That's almost nothing. But I no longer leave Flaming Trials, which was awesome. Which looked awesome, even if it had no practical use. The Mausoleum. Okay. What is the Mausoleum? Wow, I actually got the kills? Holy hell! So, I can get this powerful grenade plus, six plus, which does the same amount of damage as the powerful grenade, eight. It's got better effects, and there is no reason I can't upgrade both just to see what happens, because it's not like money has any goddamn purpose in this game. Right. Let's fill this up to all but one. So I can use it on the next run. Then... You know what? Maybe it's about time I started working towards this specialist showroom. Just to see what it is. So. You. If I upgrade this to plus plus. For 2000. I can then see how much damage this will do by upgrading to a singular plus. The exact same. So in other words, which one's got better effects? And... Theoretically, arrows coming back when they die is better. Or arrows coming back... Arrow struck come back. Because the only other effect is bleeding, which I don't deal, so... Yeah. Right, the only thing left I can do is see what what's awaiting for me in this mausoleum. Come forth, mausoleum! Show me my demise! Before the Malaz, the Scarecrow was a world-famous botanist. Reach the mausoleum for the first time. Wait a moment. Okay, those things blew up in the trailer, so... The Scarecrow. Goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow! Yes! Goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow! Thank you. What is that? Scarecrow Scythes. Interesting. Twin daggers. Hell no. Magnet grenade. No. Well, that Scarecrow was interesting. That's for sure. Scarecrow Scythes comes back to you automatically, increase, inflicts increasingly severe critical hits after each hit. So wait, is that like one of the, the act, like one of the axes the big fat men throw in which it does continuous damage over time? Because if that's the case, guess what my next goal is? Right, now what kind of episode would it be if I didn't just quickly, you know, do High Peak Castle and then try killing Mr. Hand of the King? Ooh. Ooh, good chap. You offer me an upgrade to my ice bow, which has been desperately needing an upgrade for probably quite a while now. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. But Louis. Red blueprint. Wave of denial. Alright, I can't wait to see what that's about. Yeah. 
Right. The final upgrade. Damage or health? Health. Takes me over 15k. Glorious. Wave of the Nile repels all enemies. If an enemy is thrown against a wall, it takes a bunch of damage. That sounds fun. I'm glad I managed to unlock that blueprint. Right. What's left then? Le all that's left, really, is re-rolling modifiers. I can upgrade you. Those modifiers suck. Those modifiers suck. Honestly, yours suck too. 15% bonus damage, I will take that. Alright, so now I should reset my mutations, because one of the mutations is set to... Uh, melee kills, reduce cooldowns, which we don't need. What I need is probably vengeance. Let's do this, Mr. Hand of the King! I am ready! What did I just pick up? Stem cells. Stem cell one. Modifies the difficulty level and unlocks new options. Symmetrical lance. Okay. 10,000 damage. Can break shields. 300% damage inflicted on enemies. Cannot be sold. I'm sorry, but that also looks awesome. Back room. Seems to have been added after the construction of the castle. Huh. Shelves. I've seen this type of- this type of shelves before in the king's castle. Five boss cells required. Well, that sounds like fun. Alright, guess what I need to do? Kill. Why do I want to kill him? I mean, you're not giving me much of a choice, so I'll do it, but... He looks pretty dead already, if I'm fully honest. Huh. End credits, eh? Well. Hmm. Should I bother watching these? Considering we are technically still going to play the game because there's more levels of difficulty and everyone loves, just loves to watch me suffer.
That armadillo pack definitely came in handy against that boss kit. Against that boss. I love that perk. That has definitely become my new favorite perk. So, did I actually get that, you know, blueprint I got from killing the Hand of the King? That seismic, that seismic smash or whatever the hell it was called. I'm just asking because I really want to know. I mean, still granted it was a really fun build. And I am just going to skip this and we're going to wait until we actually get the proper credit credits when I defeat the game properly. Plus, I'm really going over long for time. Huh. Where am I meant to go? Leave. I mean, I am just a pile of goop right now, so... Not really much particular reason for me to stay anymore, is there? Yoinkers! Straight down, through the pipes, back to the prisoners' quarters. Yep, that's what we expect. Where the he where the hell has old bones gone? Wait, what? just happened. Oh, well, okay, that's a thing. Huh. Well, then. Well, everyone, looks like I'm all out of time for today's episode. So, what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I have been your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell. Good day, and finally, good night.